Hello teachers, this is Marjinaldo po as a boss. We are on our third session of our most requested number theory tutorials. Yung una po natin ay CRT or Chinese Remainder Theorem followed by linear congruences and here is our third session, Fermat's Little Theorem or FLT. And here is our formula. A raised to P minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod P, where P is a prime number and A is a positive integer not divisible by P. Positive integer not divisible by P. And P is a prime number. So what is a prime number? It is a whole number greater than 1 with two factors only, 1 and itself. So, dalawang factor lang greater than 1. Hence, hindi po kasama sa prime number ang um, 1. And here is the list of prime numbers from 1 to 100. Kindly take note. Again, hindi po kasama si 1 dahil ang prime number ay whole number greater than 1 with two factors only, 1 and itself. Composite po ba siya? So let's check what is a composite number. Composite number is a number with more than two factors. Hence, hindi rin po composite number C1. 1 is neither prime number nor composite number. Hindi po siya prime number, hindi rin siya composite number. E di ano po ang tawag kay 1? Si 1 ay kasama sa natural numbers or counting numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ganun po. Malinaw na po. So, pwede na po tayo mag-solve ng problem. We have problem number 1. What is the remainder when 2 raised to 36 is divided by 37. Please note na kapag meron pong divided by, yan po ang ating modulo. So, divided by 37 is mod 37. And we have 2 raised to 36 and the remainder na hinahanap po natin. Recall FLT formula, we have a raised to P minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod P. E di yung P po pala natin is equal to 37. Ano nga po yung consideration? P must be a prime number. Is 37 a prime number? Yes po. Kasama po siya doon sa list. How about A? Our A is 2. So let's check. A is a positive integer, so correct po ang 2, not divisible by P. Alam naman po natin na ang factors ng ating prime number ay 1 and itself. So dito, ang limitation po ng A ay hindi dapat 1, hindi rin 37, and must be a positive integer. So, pasok po ang ating 2. Let's now proceed with our FLT formula. Since P is equal to 37, P minus 1 is equal to 36, and we have A equal to 2. So, itong, ito na po siya. E di, kukopyahin lang po pala natin ang ating formula. Yes, and our remainder is equal to 1, which is letter A. Hayay! So, sana ganyan lang po, no? Problem number 2. What is the remainder when 3 raised to 1, 2, 3? 3 raised to 100,000 is divided by 53. So divided by 53 mod 53. 3 raised to 100,000 is congruent to a certain remainder na hinahanap po natin mod 53. And what is our FLT formula? It is A raised to P minus 1 congruent to 1 mod P. P is 53. Prime po ba si 53? Yes po. Kasama po siya sa list kanina. And we have our A equal to 3. So okay lang kasi hindi naman po siya 1 at hindi rin 53. 
proceed po tayo sa ating formula. We have A equal to 3, P is equal to 53 minus 1, therefore we have 3 raised to 52 is congruent to 1 mod 53. Ang goal po natin ay masimplify ang ating exponent na kakayaninan ng ating calculator. 100,000. We have here 3 raised to 52. Ilang 52 po ba meron ang 100,000? So, let's check. 100,345 divided by 52. We have 1,923 at meron pa po sobra. So, let's check kung ilan po ang sobra na yan. So, 52 times 1923. Ilan po ang kulang? Kanina sobra naging kulang. Opo. Kasi we have 1923 na 52. Eh di hindi po natin mapupunuan yung 100,000, right? Dahil kulang po tayo ng 4. So paano po natin yun ipapasok dito? We will apply our rule of exponents. We have power raised to a power. Kasi ito pong una natin ay 3 raised to 52 which is equal to A raised to M. Then, i-raise pa po natin siya or ita times natin siya sa 1,923 na 52. Kaya magkakaroon po tayo na AMN. I mean, A raised to MN. So, paano na po yung kulang na apat? We will also apply product with the same basis. Dito, i-add natin yung apat na kulang para mapunuan po natin ang 100,000. So, ito na po yun. 3 raised to 100,000 is equal to 3 raised to 52 times 1923 times 3 raised to 4 na kulang. Let's check. So, dapat, ang palalabasan po nito ay 100,000. So, we have 52 times 1923 plus 4. So, 3, 5. Ayan. Equal na po. Again, the goal is to simplify the exponent. Para kaya na po natin sa ating calculator. Balikan po natin ang FLT. 3 raised to 52 is congruent to 1 mod 53, right? Therefore, applying it here, 3 raised to 52, magiging 1 na po siya. So, 1 raised to any other number is always 1. Dahil 1 times 1 is 1 kahit ilang beses pa natin ulit-ulitin. So, 1 times 3 raised to 4 is now equal to 3 raised to 100,000. So, successful po na simplify na po natin. Gagamitin na po natin ngayon ay 3 raised to 4. So, ayan, pinalitan na po natin ng 3 raised to 4 ang ating 3 raised to 100,000. Then, copy, we have this one. What is 3 raised to 4? 3 raised to 4 is equal to 81. Therefore, 81 is congruent. Copy natin. 81 divided by 53, we have 1. Then, 81 minus 53, we have 28. Therefore, 81 is congruent to 28 mod 53. And this is our Remainder, which is equal to D. So, ayun. Nakakadalawa na po tayo. Okay na po ba tayo sa ganito? Di ba madali lang? Madali lang naman mag-simplify. Then, next. Problem number three. 
use Fermat's little theorem to solve the congruence relation such that x is the smallest positive integer 2 raised to 35 mod 7 is congruent to x mod 7. Hala, but nagkaroon ng mod 7 dito? Okay lang po yan kasi same-same lang yan. Kaya yung formats po natin, FLT natin ay na i-apply po natin sa bawat side. So, pareho lang po yan. 2 raised to 35 is congruent to x mod 7. No worries. Then, what is our formula? We have a raised to p minus 1. Congruent is congruent to 1 mod p, right? And we have a equal to 2 and p equal to 7, which is a prime number. So, goods. Okay din po ang 2 dahil hindi rin siya 1, hindi rin 7. Then, let's proceed. A is 2, P is 7 minus 1. We have A raised to 6 is congruent to 1 mod 7. Ilang 6 po ba meron sa ating 35? Again, we have to simplify the exponent. So, we will have 2 raised to 35 is equal to 2 raised to 6 times 5. So, this is 30. At may kulang pa tayong 5. So, andito po yung 2 raised to 5. 6 times 5 is 30. Plus 5, we have 35. And applying this 2 raised to 6 is congruent to 1 mod 7. 2 raised to 6 will be 1. Raised to 5 is also 1. Times 2 raised to 5. Therefore, 2 raised to 35 is now equal to 2 raised to 5. Then, just like kanina, ito na po ang ating bagong 2 raised to 35 simplified form. Then, 2 raised to 35 is 2 raised to 5 rather, sorry. 2 raised to 5 is equal to 32. Now, we have 32 is congruent to x mod 7. 32 divided by 7, we have 4. 4 times 7, we have 28. 32 minus 28, the remainder is 4. And x is equal to 4, which is letter D. So, madali na po, di ba? Kahit direct na sa calc ay kaya na po natin. And we have our last problem. Ayan, dalawa na po. What is the remainder when 10 raised to 73 plus 13 raised to 42 is divided by 11? So we have 10 raised to 73 plus 13 raised to 42 is congruent to question mark remainder mod 11. Mod 11 is a prime number 10 and 13 is goods din dahil hindi rin naman siya 1, hindi rin 11. And applying this formula, we have, unahin po natin si 10 raised to 73. We have 10 raised to 10 dahil 11 minus 1 is equal to 10. Congruent to 1 mod 11. Ilang 10 po ba meron sa 73? We have 7. Then the remaining 3. 10 raised to 73 is now equal to 10 raised to 10 times 7 times 10 raised to 3 or 10 cubed. And apply po natin ito, magiging 1 ang ating raised 10. Ang ating 10 raised to 10, then raised to 7 is 1 pa rin. 1 raised to 7 is equal to 1 at ang natira natin ay 10 cubed. 10 raised to 73 is now equal to 10 cubed. How about 13 raised to 42? We have this 13 raised to 10 is congruent to 1 mod 11. Papalitan lang naman natin yung ating A ng 13 dahil we are considering 13 raised to 42. So, ilang 10 meron po sa 42? We have 4. Then, i-add natin yung dalawang kulang. Ayan. 
13 raised to 10 times 4 times 13 squared. 13 raised to 10 will be 1. Ayan. Then, 1 raised to 4 is 1 pa rin. At ang natira natin ay 13 squared. Ayan. Substitute. 10 cubed plus 13 squared is congruent to question mark mod 11. And, kaya na po ito ng ating calculator. 10 cubed. 10 cubed plus 13 squared is now equal to 1169. Ayan. Then, 1169, medyo malaki na. So, introduce po natin ang ating calculator technique. We will use mode 4. And, paano po ba natin malalaman ang ating A at ang ating B? We have this format, A mod B. Paano po ba si mod B? We have mod 11, therefore B is equal to 11. How about A? A is the value before the congruent sign or symbol. So, we will now have 1169 as A and 11 for B. Again, mode 4. So, mode 4, our A is 1169 minus A. Copy lang po natin. Then, divided by B, which is 11, times B, 11, equal sign. And ang result po natin dito ay yung remainder na po natin. And the remainder is equal to 3, which is letter B. So, madali na po ba? Wala na pong susuko dahil sa modulo ha. So, ito po, nakakatatlo na po tayo and more to come pa po. And this is all about FLT or Fermat's Little Theorem. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Kindly share para makatulong din po tayo sa ating kapwa self-review takers. Claiming LPT 20. 23. God bless everyone.